It's good to see you today on Barlow Barbecue. Today we're making a smoky mac and cheese on our Weber kettle grill. It's super easy and I'll tell you what, it's just filled with delicious cheesy goodness. Y'all stick around, we'll get started right after this. The macaroni and cheese we're making today has been inspired by a family recipe from my aunt which we've adapted a little bit for today's video. For example, we're using rigatoni instead of macaroni. We're also adding in some roasted green chilies and using a lot of sharp cheddar cheese. Now, of course, you can cook this inside in your oven using these same steps and it'll turn out great. But this is a barbecue channel after all, so we're obligated to make things outside. So I've got my Weber kettle grill all fired up, ready to go. I'll meet you over there and we'll get this recipe started. All right, we got a saucepan here, and the first thing you need to do is melt two tablespoons of butter. Once that's melted, we're gonna add in our flour. And you wanna stir that constantly for about three to five minutes until you get this nice texture that you see here. So now it's time to add in some salt. And we've got a little bit of mustard powder. Now we're adding two and a half cups of milk. Now we've got this going over some medium high heat, so you want to be sure to stir this constantly over the next few minutes until it thickens up and it's got a nice glossy sheen to it. Now we're going to throw in our green chilies. And here comes a mother load of cheese right here. This is some sharp cheddar cheese we're using. And we're throwing in a couple slices of American cheese just for good measure. And finally, the cheese trifecta is complete with some Parmesan cheese. And once you've got all your cheese mixed in, it's time to get that off the heat. Now here we've got some boiled rigatoni that we're adding the cheese sauce to. Stir that up and I tell you what, that is already looking good enough to eat. I can take a bite of that right now. Now that you've got everything all mixed up, it's time to transfer it to a dish that can take the heat of your grill or oven. We're using a casserole dish here. And just take a moment to spread that out nice and even so you cover the whole dish. Now for the final touch, we've got some hot and crispy panko. We're gonna sprinkle that on top because we want a nice little crunch on the top layer of this mac and cheese. And here's some smoked paprika just for good measure. And look at that, that is looking beautiful you guys. We're almost ready to get it on the grill. Now I've got a full charcoal chimney of lit charcoal that I'm adding to the kettle because we want to bake this mac and cheese at about 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. So I'll see you back here when this grill has come up to temp and we're ready to cook. All right, grill temps at 379, that's perfect. So let's get this mac and cheese on. So let's give this about 20 minutes, then we'll come back out, we'll check on it and see how it's doing. We are 20 minutes into the cook, so let's check out this mac and cheese. Yeah, this is looking really good, but I think we can let this go for another 10 minutes or so. So let's get the lid on and I'll see you real soon. And we're back. It's been 10 minutes. This mac and cheese has been baking for a total of 30 minutes on the grill. And look at that. This is looking great. So I think it's ready. Let's get this off the grill and we can dig in. All right, folks, I'm real excited to try this macaroni and cheese out. Boy, this, howdy am I ever. This looks awesome. This could be one of the best days ever. And you know what I love about these big pasta right here? Mm -hmm. Is it's filled with all that creamy, cheesy goodness. They're like the size of tater tots. It's mm. so good. That sharp, sharp cheese in there. That is something else. Mmm. Yeah, the sharp cheese really, I think, mm -hmm. really makes it for me. I like that spicy panko. Mm, yep, mm -hmm. spicy panko. That's a you got to use that. Yep, that's great. It's key. 
You guys really need to try this one and we'll have the full recipe for you right down below in the description box with all the information you're going to need so you can make this yourself. You know what? Hmm. This is our third episode in a row that you don't need any teeth. We're just trying to attract that senior citizen market for barbecue, all right, y'all? Barbecue for everyone. <laughs> We're going to dig into this. So thanks a lot for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it, and we love you. And we're going to say until next time, smoke them if you got it. That's right. Bye-bye.